Hi, students. Welcome to today's live IELTS class. My name is Adrian, and I'm streaming to you live from beautiful Budapest here in Hungary. I hope everybody has had a fantastic and productive week and is looking forward to a pleasant weekend. Hi, Kyber. Hi, Kamal. Hi, Aftab. Good to see many students already in the class. Today, we are looking at the Task 2 essay we started yesterday. We will review the uh, introduction, so everybody's on board, and we will continue writing the body paragraphs and conclusion to finish with a nice high band nine result. While we wait for some more of your peers to join into this class, this lesson is presented to you by aehelp.com. That's academicenglishhelp.com for the academic uh, IELTS. Be sure to visit and join us there. For the general exam, check us out at gieltshelp.com and be sure to join our premium package. On both of these websites, students, we have loads and loads of materials for you including over 100 hours of video lessons for the listening, reading, speaking, and writing. Click that big red button to join us there at the academic with the blue background. And for the general, it's the green background. Click that big red button. Both of these sites also have six original practice tests, lots of audio for your listening, as well as a fully interactive course. And we have integrated apps for your mobile uh, so that you can link your app and your website and learn from the same account, okay? So here, the apps are Academic IELTS Help and General IELTS Help. Check those out uh, in your app stores. If you have questions about our products or services or the IELTS exam, just send me an email to adrian at aehelp.com. If you want to get our exam books, uh, in hard copy version so you can follow these classes with an actual paper physical book that you're holding. Uh, you can go to Amazon and uh, search for A Helps Academic IELTS or G Helps General IELTS. There's two books uh, for each. All right, students, today we are finishing this task two. Tomorrow we will have a question and answer session for members and a speaking part three for everyone. That's tomorrow, but today let's get into this lesson. Uh, here's the question we started yesterday. Let's just review that and the introductory paragraph and then we'll get cracking. Here we go. IELTS task two writing. Some people believe that it is valuable for society to experiment with bacteria and viruses, while others feel this is dangerous and should not be done, discuss both views and give your own opinion. Hmm. Discuss both views and give our own opinion. So we did some paraphrasing. We identified the topic as being experimenting on microorganisms, namely viruses and bacteria. And then we visualized we thought about the advantages, the disadvantages. We eventually came up with the thesis statement, the direct thesis, and then we wrote the introduction. The introductory paragraph had a hook, background, and a direct thesis. Here we go. Let's read our introduction, and then we're going to get right into those high-level body paragraphs. Welcome, members. I see lots of you in the chat, that's great. All right, so our hook, here we go. Over the past century, humanity has spent billions of dollars to research viruses and bacteria. In hospitals, universities, and military installations around the world, people have set up laboratories and used special equipment to capture, cultivate, and identify microbes. This research has a major impact on the lives of all people. Many individuals feel that research on bacteria and viruses should be banned as it is dangerous to human life. However, others, including myself, believe that such experiments increase longevity and improve health. Hi, Eugene. Love those emojis. Always do. Don't always say it, but I really do. 
All right, everyone. First body paragraph should be about the counter argument here, okay? So first body paragraph is always the side that you do not support, okay? So in this type of essay where you have to discuss both views, okay, and give your own opinion, please don't say I agree with both. That's awkward and doesn't make a lot of argumentative sense, okay? Um, so always start with the one that you don't believe in because you always want to finish with the one that you believe in, right? So body one in this case is um, the side explained that you do not agree with. In this case, it's that uh, research on bacteria should be abandoned. Okay, so this is the side that we're going to discuss first. Now, um, for body paragraph students, what's the first sentence? So what should be the first sentence? And uh, don't just give me the name of that first sentence, but tell me what it should include. So what should be the first sentence? Lovepreet is asking, can I use me in task two? Yes, Lovepreet, if it's asking directly for your opinion and your position. Aftab says that it should be the topic sentence. That's our first sentence. Yeah. So what is the topic sentence? What does that mean? So indeed, it's true, Aftab. You're right. The first sentence is the topic sentence. Um, what does that do? Okay, Mina, Hashemi says, well, the topic sentence introduces the first viewpoint. Okay. Yeah, and another way to think about that, Mina, in your introducing, uh, when you're introducing that first point is that it's basically a deeper definition of that first point, okay? So give a deeper definition of that first point in your thesis. So here, uh, our first point in the thesis is that uh, uh, research on bacteria and viruses should be banned as it is dangerous to human life. Okay, so uh, give me a sentence for the topic sentence that gives the reader a deeper definition of let's stop research on bacteria and viruses because it's dangerous for human life. Okay, give me your first sentence for that. I can see for Dobbs has been preparing. Good for Dobbs. Okay, same with Boomi. Boomi says, microbes can cause deadly diseases in humans. And finish that sentence, Boomi. And therefore, this kind of research should not be done, right? By humanity. Okay, so finish that sentence, Boomi. Ferdov says, on the one side, experiments on microbes could be both hazardous and fatal to humankind. Um, yeah. Absolutely, for Dobbs. That's a good deeper definition. Peya Basak says, many people debate that practically dealing with microbiology can affect the researchers. Not really sure. I kind of get what you're saying, Peya, but it's a little bit awkward. It's more like uh, an explanation, but you want to rethink that, okay? Uh, Rajveer says, certain individuals argue that research can create biological weapons by understanding the genetics of microbes, which is a serious threat for humanity. Yeah, Rajveer, very good. Okay, you're on the right track, absolutely. Elena says there's a clear distinction or there's a clear dissatisfaction among people about the experiment of microbes due to its deadly effects on all living beings if it is do not done carefully in the laboratory. Okay, Elena, not bad. I think you're trying to put an explanation in with that topic sentence. You don't need to do that, okay? Mina says, from a certain angle, researching bacteria and viruses can do more harm than good, so it should be banned. Yeah, Mina, that's not bad. 
Okay, that's not bad. What do you mean by more harm than good? Okay, so Swati says, although people get scared from the misconduction of experiments on bacteria and virus, they should remember its positive side. Ooh, so Swati, you have to be careful. You're mixing the two sides in the wrong body paragraph. That's uh, going to be a very confusing essay. Be very careful with that. Okay. All right. So. Uh, so a number of advocates. Against. The experimentation. Of bacteria. And microbes believe that this endeavor causes more suffering and death than benefits for humanity. All right, I'm going to stick with that one. So a number of advocates against the experimentation of bacteria and microbes, uh, bacteria and viruses, let's say, because bacteria are microbes, believe that this endeavor causes more suffering and death than benefits for society. Okay, sure. I think we're all kind of on the same page. Many of you are writing uh, similar types of uh, topic sentences. I see, meanwhile, Vishal is asking, is it important to write an example in every paragraph? In the body paragraphs, Vishal, yes. Not necessarily, not the introduction and not the conclusion, Vishal, but the body paragraphs, yes. Okay. All right, uh, Life Dream, I think you're getting a little emotional and off topic as well. Or you're jumping the gun. Remember, students, uh, you're not writing for yourself. You're writing for your reader. And for your reader, the information has to have clarity and a logical flow. Okay? One of the big mistakes many students make is they write sentences which seem like they're speaking to themselves, knowing the information inside their head. It's okay. You'll understand it, but... Others might not understand it, so be careful, okay? Be really kind of step by step, all right? So a number of advocates. Advocates are people who argue or support one side, okay? Advocates here is a noun. Advocate is the verb. Advocate is the person noun. Remember that word. When you see new words, students, grab them, learn them, okay? So advocate is a very good piece of vocabulary to add to your toolbox. Okay, so a number of advocates against the experimentation of bacteria and viruses believe that this endeavor causes more suffering and death than benefits for society. How? What's the next sentence? Next sentence is my explanation. Okay, so it has to be clear, connected, qualitative and quantitative okay what does that mean that means it's okay to use words like terrible and worse and bad but you need to quantify that so you need to say like 10,000 people have died from uh, viruses created in laboratories so you have to create quantitative measurable information okay so give me that explanation and elena good i see you're on par with us she, elena's saying yeah explanation we need that next all right let's see rajveer singh says since microbes are contagious and spread exponentially they infect millions of people within a few hours. They can infect millions of people within a few hours. Okay, very good, Rajveer. Yeah, that's a good explanation of the danger of uh, experimenting on these microbes. Uh, Ferdov says, tests on bacteria and viruses could be done to make biological weapons and um, wrong, it's not wrong experimentations, but 
um, accidental or accidents during experimentation uh, can create new types of viruses which cannot be controlled and uh, create a pandemic. Okay, pandemic or epidemic, those are the words that you need to use. Uh, you might be hearing those in the news as well. Okay. Oh, Vishal, I see what you just wrote there. Uh, read lots, Vishal, read lots. That's my only advice for you. Read, 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 read. I can see that you're sad, but having seven in speaking, writing, and uh, listening is fantastic. Uh, it's too bad you got six in reading. Vishal, read more, okay? But it's not, don't be so disappointed. Uh, seven, 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 six is a great band score. I think a lot of students would love to have that score, so... Keep it up, Vishal. Just read lots. Okay, so let me write in my uh, explanation. Uh, you do the same. I already have a few, but let's see a few more, and then we'll compare, okay? So, um, certain types of viruses and bacteria can make people extremely ill and cause eventual death as well. They spread. I'm going to use your uh, explanation here, Rajvir, because that was very good. I think that's what's really scary about these microbes as well. They spread exponentially through the population and can be extremely uh, difficult can be, I already used extremely, so I'm going to take that out, can be very difficult to uh, manage. Furthermore, humans tend to conduct research on microbes to create biological weapons which could lead to the extinction of humanity. Okay, there's no rule that your explanation has to be uh, just one sentence, okay? So you can write more than one sentence. The important point is to have a clear explanation. So certain types of viruses and bacteria can make people extremely ill and cause eventual death. As well, they spread exponentially through the population and can be very difficult to manage. Furthermore, humans tend to conduct research on microbes to create biological weapons, which could lead to the extinction of humanity. Okay, that's my explanation. Let's see what else you have. I see lots of students typing. That's great. Saswati says there is evidence of deadly experiments when, where viruses cannot adapt to their new environments. Researchers unsuccessfully cultivated them and millions of dollars got wasted. Uh, okay, Saswati, I think that's one negative, but uh, your explanation, Saswati, cannot be different from your topic sentence. The topic sentence says that these endeavors cause more suffering and death. We're not talking about losing money. So careful students, you can't just jump from one idea to the other. Again, all of your ideas have to be tightly connected to make sense and to get a high band score. So Bumi says when researching bacteria and viruses, some of the time there can be accidental spread in the air and into the human body, which can affect millions of people in a short time. Very good, uh, Boomi. Hence, this leads to airborne diseases that did not exist before. Very good, Boomi. Very good. Uh, Rehan says, during experiments in laboratories, bacteria and viruses, oftentimes, where are you going with it, Rehan? Like HIV, coronavirus, and SARS, get into uh, the researchers and they spread the virus through the population. Uh, Rihan, not bad. I see that you're trying to use a lot of unique words. 
Just make sure that you don't lose the meaning of what you're saying. Stay coherent, okay? Stay coherent. All right. Let's see what else we have. Life Dream says experimenting using bacteria and viruses can cause hazardous situations like what we are living these days. Coronavirus, owing to their characteristic, we mentioned the ability of spreading. Uh, Life Dream, I think you're mixing the explanation together with the example. Be very careful with that, students. Example, explanation, separate. Okay, keep those separate. Uh, now let's do the example. So let's give an example here. And the example should be real world. Okay, so something from the real world. Something that your reader can empathize or sympathize with. Six Rob, I am teaching task two essay writing for the academic IELTS, uh, for general IELTS as well. Okay, all right. Pachu says, most bacteria and virus are pathogens. They are the, hence heat resistant and they can grow logarithmically. They spread deadly diseases and infect rapidly. That's for your explanation, Pachu. It's not bad, okay? Ferdov says, nowadays, for example, coronavirus spreads extremely fast and doctors' authorities do not know how to stop it, and they don't have a clue or an idea of how to treat people who are suffering from this disease. Yeah, and for dogs, let's not forget, it's actually killing people, right? It has a 2% mortality rate. So nowadays, the infamous coronavirus is spreading across the globe and infecting millions of people as well as killing 2% of those infected. Many experts assume or believe that this is a man-made virus. But nobody seems to know the way to stop this pathogen. Okay. So, yeah. Not at all difficult to come up, unfortunately, with an example for this. This is why I chose this topic. It's a little bit provocative and it should get you uh, interested. Okay. Uh, Peya Basak says, a recent research revealed that 10% of deadly contagious diseases have been spread from laboratories indirectly in which researchers did experiments. Peya, nice. Okay. That's a good example. Uh, Mina Hashemi says, for example, the coronavirus has been rumored to be created as a result of experimentation gone out of control. It has now become a global pandemic. Mina, really nice writing. Good for you. Nice use of the word pandemic. Nice use of the expression gone out of control. Nice work, Mina. Uh, Studia Devinch says, nowadays coronavirus is uh, becoming a pandemic or an epidemic, and many doctors believe there is no cure for this, hence the increased mortality rate. Very good. Okay. Students, remember in the example to refer back to the idea that it's man-made or created in a laboratory. Okay. All right. So. Here we go. This is my... Um, this is my example sentence here. Nowadays, the infamous coronavirus is spreading across the globe and infecting millions of people as well as killing 2% of those infected. Many experts believe that this is a man-made virus, but nobody seems to know the way to stop this pathogen. All right. So uh, now we need a connecting sentence. And here, remember 
that my argument, so let's go back to my thesis, okay? The thesis is the cornerstone of my essay. It's where my essay pivots. That's why it's super, super important that the thesis in your introduction is really clear. So the thesis reads, many individuals feel that research on bacteria and viruses should be banned as it is dangerous to human life. We just wrote our body paragraph one that clearly explains that first point. However, others, including myself, believe that such experiments increase longevity and improve health. Okay, so now I need to transition into this second body paragraph. So I need a connecting concluding sentence to transition into this second body paragraph. So here we go. Okay, nevertheless, the overall uh, effects of experiments on microbes is arguably positive. Okay, so that's my connecting sentence. So I basically weaken this argument. So I explained it. I explained why people are worried. I gave an example for it and I finish with, okay, it's, it's arguable, but the other side is even more arguable. Okay. And then mm, I see already some examples coming up. So Mina Hashemi writes, there are, however, uh, another group of individuals who believe that this type of experiment comes with more benefits to humanity. Yeah, that's okay, Mina. That'll work. Uh, Rehan says, however, in spite of having uh, negligible effects, this has vast profits. Okay, uh, Rihan, uh, negligible effects is not correct there, okay? However, in spite of having negative effects, not negligible effects. Uh, Rajveer Singh says, nevertheless, the positives of experimenting on viruses, bacteria, are arguably more than its negatives. Nice, yeah, Rajveer, right? Don't overthink it. It's a clear, crisp sentence, leads really well into your next body paragraph, Okay. Uh, for Dobbs, what I'm seeing in your sentence, I think, is the topic sentence of the next paragraph. In my opinion, experiments on microbes should be done only to cure diseases and enhance people's health. That kind of looks more like, almost like a part of the conclusion for Dobbs. Okay. All right. Uh, Elena writes, nonetheless, these incidents cannot be a reason to stop experiments as incurable diseases can be cured nowadays with the help of medical research. Right, Elena? Uh, don't repeat the word experiments. Elena, I really like your uh, connection conclusion otherwise. So you're using the incident. So nonetheless, these incidents cannot be reasons to stop this research. Yeah, okay. I like that so much, Elena, I'm gonna take it. Okay, nevertheless, these incidents cannot be a reason for stopping medical research on microbes. Okay, there we go. So thank you, Elena. Let's borrow that one. Okay. Uh, Boomi. Also very good. Okay, so body paragraph two, topic sentence. Again, topic sentence. It's your first sentence. Okay, and again, your topic sentence, especially when you're practicing at home, keep going back to your thesis. Keep looking at your thesis so you can develop a good topic sentence, okay? However, others, including myself, believe that such experiments increase longevity and improve health. Give me a nice topic sentence for that one. Okay, so give me a nice topic sentence for that one. Longevity, improved health, 
Give me a deeper definition, okay? So arguably, the wealth of knowledge and advancement in the medical field, specifically with the understanding of microbiology has enabled humans to not only add decades onto their lifespans, but also live with fewer illness. Okay, so that's a fairly complex sentence, students. Again, if you can't do it in one sentence, it's fine. You can do it in two, three. The important point is to just get this idea to your reader, right? So think about all that research that has been done in medicine, discovering bacteria, viruses, understanding them, and thereby being able to cure such diseases, okay? All right, uh, let's see what some of you have written. Uh, Ferdobs says, on the other hand, people live longer and healthier than ever before due to experiments on viruses and bacteria. Yeah, Ferdobs, not bad, but it just kind of sounds like a repeat of the thesis. Uh, work really hard, students, not to just simply repeat your thesis, okay? Should sound a little different. Uh, Rajvira says, researchers on bacteria and viruses increase life expectancy and decrease the chances of illness. Yeah, Rajvira, that's really good. Really nice, uh, deeper definition. And it's very, uh, what I like, Rajvira, about that deeper definition is it's very close to the point in the thesis. So it's very clear for the larger group of readers, and that's exactly what you should do, okay? Uh, Paya Basak says, to be more precise, the invention of antibiotics from animals, which is used for the prevention of many infectious diseases, has expanded the lifespan of uh, ill people or affected people. Uh, Paya, uh, that is a great sentence for the explanation. Okay, you're jumping to the explanation, I think, a little bit. All right, so careful, Paya. Uh, practice to separate the topic uh, sentence from the explanation. All right. Life Dream says, when experiments are done well with good ethics, um, the microorganisms aid humanity by curing disease. Uh, Life Dream, I kind of took your concept and completely... Um, reshaped it so that it makes sense, but you have the right idea. Just be careful to use the right words, word form, okay? All right. Hemant Sharma says, advanced research and development in microbiology has helped not only to contain deadly viruses, but also further helped in diagnosing more complex uh, illnesses which have saved the lives of many and extended the lifespan of people. Okay, Herman, good. Uh, Herman, be really, really careful, or Herman, sorry, Herman. Herman Sharma, uh, be careful, review your thesis point so that you can make sure you're not going off topic and not accidentally going into a parallel topic, okay? All right, uh, so now comes the explanation. Okay, so again, here's the uh, first uh, sentence. Arguably, the wealth of knowledge and advancement in the medical field, specifically with the understanding of microbiology, has enabled humans to not only uh, add decades onto their lifespans, but also live with fewer 
illness, okay? Let's explain that. Why is that? So why does that happen? Okay, so when uh, experiments are done carefully and ethically, medical scientists are able to develop vaccines and antibiotics which save the lives of millions of people every day. I think that's a pretty good explanation. All right. Uh, Lei Kwak Hong says, I don't think the coronavirus is bad. This disease could be a lesson for humankind. Thanks to the coronavirus, we now have to think more about these kinds of diseases. Uh, not as a symptom, but just as human. I'm not sure you're going with that, Lei Kwak Hong. I think you're expressing uh, some personal ideas, but you have to be careful, uh, Lee, to make sense in the essay. So one of the reasons, students, I chose this provocative topic of doing experiments with viruses and bacteria is because I know that some of you will get quite passionate and emotional and excited about this topic. And um, there are two kinds of dangerous situations in the IELTS exam, in the speaking and in the writing section. One, where students are kind of bored. They're like, oh, this is a boring question. I don't really care about this. I don't know anything about this. I don't want to write about this. And then their essay is uh, bad or weak even before the student starts writing, okay? Good writing, good speaking starts with attitude. You have to have a positive, clear, intelligent attitude, okay? So if you're feeling bored or if you're like, I don't know anything about that, I don't care about it, you're already looking at disaster. The second uh, situation that I see at times is a hot topic that by chance uh, happens to be something like this during a time of the coronavirus outbreak and students get really passionate and they get overexcited. And because they're so excited and so passionate, they start to write down all of their ideas and opinions, and then they completely forget about the goal of the essay and having good structure and having clear communication. So you have to be really careful, students, in these two kinds of situations. Control yourself, okay? Ideally, you want to focus on the question, remember the structure, be interested, keep a clear mind, okay? So, Make sure to do that. All right. Um, so uh, when experiments are done carefully and ethically, medical scientists are able to develop vaccines and antibiotics, which save the lives of millions of people every day. Okay, examples. Let's get some examples in here. So there are many antibiotics and vaccines available for illnesses like malaria, pneumonia, meningitis, and the common flu, to name just a few. These pathogens before researching microbes claimed the lives of many more people than in the past. Okay, so uh, that's my uh, example, all right? Um, let's see what you have. Anybody come up with some examples while I was typing that? 
Hamant says, just like the spread of uh, Nipah uh, was contained with the uh, timely developed vaccines, thus saving the lives of more than 10 million people. Hamant, very good. Okay. Uh, yeah, Elena, I saw that you agreed with uh, what I just said about it's true and it happens with people about getting bored or overpassionate and forgetting their goals. Yeah. Uh, Ferdov says, for example, many lives were saved in Africa between 2012 and 2018 uh, with the Ebola vaccine. A study found that the vaccine was effective against Ebola virus, 100% of the cases. Very good, Ferdov. Yeah, very good. That's a great example, the Ebola. Okay, so um, what should I do now? Students, I want to make sure that I can get a band nine for this essay. And in order to do that, I still have one step left here before I do my conclusion. What do I do? So what do I do? Ah, very nice. Ferdov's shouting it out. All capital letters. Ferdov says, yeah, don't forget your opinion, right? So yeah, that's right, Rajvir. The opinion. This is where a lot of students forget that this essay question is asking your opinion. It says at the very beginning here. So it says discuss both views and give your own opinion. So you have to emphasize your opinion here and probably the conclusion as well. Okay. So don't forget about that. I love how many of you caught that. You're like, oh, yeah, yeah, wait, whoa, 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 your opinion. Okay. So. And it doesn't have to be complex. For these exact reasons, I am, don't use contractions. So this is a contraction. I'm, don't do that in the uh, IELTS, especially the academic. I am strongly in favor of continuing experiments on bacteria and viruses. Okay, so I'm just throwing my opinion in there. This is enough to show the reader that, hey, this is what I believe as well. And now I'm emphasizing my opinion uh, with uh, words like strongly in favor, okay? So use those adverbs, strongly in favor. Okay, and then comes my conclusion. So now comes my conclusion. Okay, conclusion. And the conclusion has three parts, kind of like the introduction, but it's not the same as the introduction students. Okay. The conclusion is not the same. So in the conclusion, you have your points restated argument strengthened and a take home message. Okay. So that's what you need in your conclusion. Now, the points restated, that's kind of like a paraphrase of the, um, of the thesis statement, okay? So, here, just for the aisle, start with in conclusion. In university, oftentimes your professors will say, don't write in conclusion because it's clear that it's your conclusion. But for the IELTS exam, you should write in conclusion just to show the examiners that you're very clear on standard essay structure, right? So begin with in conclusion. So in conclusion, experimentation on pathogens can be detrimental and beneficial for society. Okay. Either way, many experts 
myself as well, believe that the overall result of such experiments is positive and must be pursued. In the end, humanity has to see the bigger picture and not get scared by momentary circumstance. Okay, so this is my conclusion here, students. It doesn't have to be long. It just needs to include these elements. So in conclusion, experimentation of pathogens can be detrimental and beneficial for society. Either way, many experts, myself as well, believe that the overall result of such experiments is positive and must be pursued. In the end, humanity has to see the bigger picture and not get scared by the momentary circumstances. I put momentary in the quotation because obviously um, a virus like the coronavirus, it can last for years and be a threat to humanity. But as humans, we need to think about our existence on the planet, not just in 10 years or in 100 years, but we need to start thinking in the span of 1,000 years, in the span of 5,000 years. Uh, just a little personal anecdote here, students. Uh, if you think of a crocodile that's been on the earth for 100 million years, uh, then uh, we can understand that humans have to see a much bigger picture uh, than we do currently. Currently, humans are thinking only in very, very short spans, which is not the best. Um, anyway, that's my own little anecdote. Let's read this essay one more time from the top, okay? I can see that there's a lot of uh, in conclusion uh, paragraphs coming up, which is great. Um, students, you've done a fantastic job. Let's read the essay before we wrap up from the top and just make sure there isn't too much redundancy. We don't have a lot of mistakes with grammar, especially with content or clarity. Okay, here we go. Read with me uh, from the top, from the introductory paragraph. Okay, so let's read together. Over the past century, humanity has spent billions of dollars to research viruses and bacteria in hospitals, universities, and military installations around the world. People have set up laboratories and use special equipment to capture, cultivate, and identify microbes. This research has a major impact on the lives of all people. Many individuals feel that research on bacteria and viruses should be banned as it is dangerous to human life. However, others, including myself, believe that such experiments increase longevity and improve health. A number of advocates against the experimentation of bacteria and viruses believe that this endeavor causes more suffering and death than benefits for, for humanity. Certain types of viruses and bacteria can make people extremely ill and cause eventual death. As well, they spread exponentially through the population and can be very difficult to manage. Furthermore, humans tend to conduct research on microbes to create biological weapons, which could lead to the extinction of humanity. Nowadays, the infamous coronavirus is spreading across the globe and infecting millions of people, as well as killing 2% of those infected. Many experts believe that this is a man-made virus, but nobody seems to know the way to stop this pathogen. Nevertheless, these incidents cannot be a reason for stopping medical research on microbes. Arguably, the wealth of knowledge and advancement in the medical field, specifically with the understanding of microbiology, has enabled humans to not only add decades onto their lifespans, but also live with fewer illness. When experiments are done carefully and ethically, medical scientists are able to develop vaccines and antibiotics which save the lives of millions of people every day. 
there are many antibiotics and vaccines available for illnesses like malaria, pneumonia, meningitis, and the common flu, to name just a few. These pathogens, before researching microbes, claimed the lives of many more people than in the past. Of many more people in the past. So there's an important correction, right? Multitasking. Lives of many more people in the past. For these exact reasons, I am strongly in favor of continuing experiments on bacteria and viruses. In conclusion, experimentation of pathogens can be detrimental and beneficial for society. Either way, many experts, myself as well, believe that the overall result of such experiments is positive and must be pursued. In the end, humanity has to see the bigger picture and not get scared by momentary circumstances. That is your, eh, I think you get a band nine for that essay. Okay, it's probably around 300 words, maybe a little bit more, 320. Uh, but again, remember students, 250 is the absolute minimum. So for band nine essays, definitely you're looking to have a few more words than just 200. 50. Uh, thank you everyone for your great effort and hard work. I see that there are lots of uh, new texts in the chat with the conclusion. Good for you. Uh, students, remember, even if I don't read what you put in the chat, you're practicing and that's great. Okay. Give yourself a pat on the back. The goal here is for you to learn. All right. So uh, thank you for attending this class. Uh, Akia, I'm not sure. I'll uh, put the uh, corrected, clear version of this essay into the uh, chat, or sorry, into the um, community board on the YouTube channel. Okay, Akia, so you'll see it there if I made a mistake. Okay. All right. You're very welcome, Mina. I'm glad you enjoyed the lesson. Elena, nice participation for Dov's solid job as usual. Fantastic. Uh, keep it up. Uh, Kerm, Kerm is going to sleep. Sleep well, Kerm. Have a good night's rest. Uh, students, again, for lots more videos with me, as well as practice exams and an interactive course with strategies, spend a couple dollars. Save yourself a lot of headache and time. Get some good materials. Join us at aehelp.com for academic IELTS and G-I-E-L-T-S help.com for general IELTS. Much love to all of you from Budapest. Stay safe, stay healthy, keep your immune systems strong. That means exercise, vitamins, and good sleep. Bye for now, everyone.